If you could be a girl for the day, Baby what's the guess. first thing you'd do? If I could be a girl for a day, what's a fr- after getting ready and like being dolled up and looking good? That's the first thing that you would do is get ready. I mean, fuck yeah, bro. You want to look good, baby. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I'm okay. touching my titties, baby. Oh, What's up, baby? Guy. I'm be, jiggling that shit. Yeah. I'm doing jumping jacks. This guy says he's going to be, be playing with himself. Come on now. Like, what? Okay, get oh. ready and then what? Well, I've never, Go I've out never, to the clear. I've never felt one of these before. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 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 what's up, yo. My what's guy? up, big dog? We on or what? This shit live? Hell yeah. Another fucking hump day chronicles. What's up, big dog? Happy hump My day God. to you, big dog. You good? Chilling? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wee! It's hump day. One Hell of the yeah. favorite days of the week, besides the weekend. Besides the weekend, I mean, Woo! my only favorite day of the week is fucking Friday, but we it's Wednesday, baby. Halfway there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Zerskis. So, so what we got today? We got a couple of things. Man, it's been a fucking crazy week since last week. I feel like last week was, you know, just us getting back into things because we haven't fucking done this in a long time. And then all this shit happens. We're all like, this what shit. The fuck? Crazy you know? right? ass shit. I know well, your ass was crying over the fucking weekend. Yeah. You were, cry- yeah. You were crying, homie. I was crying. crying. I was crying. Uh, let's uh, get right into this thing. What do you want to so, start with? Your drunk girlfriend or what? Yeah, we got the drunk girlfriend. <laughs> um, <laughs> our girl, Ingrid our girl, Andres. I, I don't claim her, but Ingrid Andres announced on Tuesday that she's checking into rehab. <laughs> this is a girl that's saying the national anthem Ooh. at the baseball annual fucking home run derby. Hell yeah. What was this on Saturday or, or Friday or what was it? It was on, uh, I believe it was Saturday. Yeah, so a couple of days ago, man, this fucking girl went on stage and, you know, kudos to her. She's a great country singer, but she went up there lit. She was lit. She was fucking said, I don't give a shit. I'm going to pop some bottles before this song. Bro, did you hear it? She was I like, ah. yeah, bro. Said, woo. Pretty bad, huh? That was bad. That was bad. Checked you, herself. You yeah. She, uh, what was her quote? She t- posted on X, a.k.a. Twitter. Uh, quote, <laughs> quote, I was drunk last night. I'm checking myself into a facility today to get the help I need. That was not me last night. I apologize to the MLB, all the fans. And this country I love so much for that rendition. I'll let y'all know how rehab is. I hear it's super fun. That's crazy, (laughs) man. I don't know because we're. This girl is crazy, bro. Fucking nuts. But I feel like we're in a like an age in our like I don't know in community where a lot of more people are going sober than they are fucking being lit like that out in the public, right? Everyone's like preaching the healthy lifestyle and you know not drinking and being sober for whatever x and then she comes out and sings a national anthem at the fucking home on derby just lit lit and she fucks it up she looks like a total retard uh kudos to her shout out to her she tried um but yeah soon after that she gave us a thumbs up that she's checking herself into rehab wow how old is she she's in her 20s too uh, or wait no 32 okay so our age bro Damn. That could that could be me, bro. God damn, shit, that could be me or you, you know. Bro, that is some crazy shit. I love it though. You yeah. know what? Good for her. She she realized that she's a fucking <laughs> alcoholic and she needs to go to rehab. Hey, good for her, right? Nah, yeah, good for her, bro. But all this rallying and back and forth. Man, so what do we got? What it's 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 that. Bar- the what, only what thing was on my the other head, crazy shit. Only thing on my head with these rallies, tell us, and uh, big performances, is um, Uncle Donnie, man. <sighs> Uncle fucking Don. The Don, the Don Juan, Donald J. So Trump. What the fuck DJ happened, bro? T. What the fuck happened? You and I were here recording a skit, literally, uh, yeah, just recording stuff, and then uh, someone called us in Texas. Hey, have you been watching the news? Uh, what the fuck? Just no, happened? we're doing our skit, yeah. and uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, uh, and my pops call or texted me, and he does like the voice text, right? So it always comes out all screwed up, right? And I'm like, someone got shot. He said the Raleigh, which is a hotel here in Miami, and I was like, what? 
and he was texting me like five times blowing up my phone yeah, I don't remember know. so yeah. i was like let me call this guy so i call my dad and he's like trump just got shot i was like what yeah. so we both turned on the tv Bro, it's I, obviously all over the news i literally felt a little fucking tear kind of shed a little bit like that's fucking nuts dog dude someone that, straight went for his dome and missed crazy and the way he fucking you know uh acted about it and his kind of response towards it was very fucking like hell yeah dude like that's who dude. i want right in my fucking country we'll, we'll get into the details in just a second but the most legendary thing is this fool gets shot in the ear and they're on the hot mics, right? Because it's live, right. obviously. Yeah. And they're like covering him, Secret Service. And they're like, okay, shoot her down, shoot her down. They get up. And he's, first of all, he's like, hold up, get my shoes. <laughs> this guy just <laughs> hold got on, hold shot. On. Let me get my shoes back on. Let shoes. me get my shoes back on. <laughs> and then the most legendary thing, he's like, they're about to pull him off stage. And he's like, wait, wait, wait. Just raises his hand. is like, fight, fight, fight. Fuck like, yeah. bro, like, that shit's go. crazy. Yeah. Like, who does that? You just got shot. I mean, yeah, it grazed at, him, but yeah. still, you got shot. It oh, This close, man. This close. Half a fucking inch. Like, and it'd literally. be your dome. Your dome. You'd be dead. Oh, he was be dead. dead. Yeah. They did this uh, AI thing, and I it showed it, yeah. if he didn't move his head and he was like this, it would have just pierced, pierced the back skull. of his, yeah. his skull. Been done. That shit's crazy. What do you, what do you think about this shit, bro? Uh, Honestly, how do you feel, dog? It's crazy. It's I feel like um, I feel like it was I read, an inside job. I read job. somewhere, yeah, like you said. What? I feel like it's an inside job. I, I mean, I read somewhere like that that Secret Service knew what the fuck was going on for like I, I don't even know what they said. Fucking like um, twenty minutes or something like that before the actual shooting took place. That's what you said, yeah. Right. And then I was reading on IG and like all the social media outlets that he. Uh, they, they, the guy, the sniper from Secret Service had his sights on the shooter for like almost two minutes or something like that. A good enough and, time to be like, hey. And right. his boss, whoever that is, told him like, stand down, don't take the shot. That ranking official? Who in their right mind says don't take a shot on someone who has their sights on a former president and now he's going for office obviously again Former how do you say don't take the shot yeah. like yeah, that's that. where i'm like okay so there was something inside that had to have happened don't dig me into it because i'm a big co fucking conspiracy guy so i got a lot of fucking conspiracies and shit that i fucking believe in when it comes to the u.s government you know dating back to even before 9 11 9 11 is a whole different story i don't want to get into it as well but <laughs> dog yeah, they had his eye. They had their eyes on this guy for twenty minutes, and then actually had an actual sniper from the Secret Service saying, "Should I take this guy down?" Someone tells him to fucking stand down, bro. Stand down Crazy. until he takes a shot, and then once he takes a shot, they were able able to actively, you know, take action on this guy. It's fucked up. I I don't know. It was crazy. I'm not gonna say it wasn't an inside job or it wasn't. I just. Damn, bro. I think it was. I just think we have too much fucking technology, like now in the day, to like not be able to catch that shit. Fucking even ten minutes before it happened, dude. They bro. said that he was when he was climbing up. A certain official climbed up as well and like basically dipped. Spotted him? Or no, he was like on the roof with him, and he was like, "Oh," and like bailed. Oh, do your thing. And then there was people. <laughs> Sorry, to outside the rally. <laughs> going to police and being like hey shoot it like there's someone on the roof that's why i'm like there it had to be i don't know some of the conspiracies are like it was within the trump organization which i don't know to just bring his numbers up and then some of them were like in obviously wait the, wait so the, people in the trump like, that's what they're saying just to bring numbers up i don't know how do no, you bring numbers that, up but is that what, what if they actually killed him no but i'm saying is that why they were what they were trying to say i didn't see yeah. the info on it i just saw that they were saying that it may have been in the trump organization or obviously the other side because of xyz but that's not something where it's like you're you're getting someone off their game a little bit like bro he almost straight up whichever died. way this fucking went it only helped him oh his stock in well his actual stock but his stock in the presidential candidacy went way up because what's his name tell us Wait, who, who? Elon Musk? Oh, dog, Elon. 
Poppy Elon, Elon, Musk, Elon. Poppy Elon. So he's got Poppy Trump. I got Poppy Elon. Poppy Elon is now fucking endorsed to committing $45 million a month to a new pro-Trump super PAC. Bam, 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 45 bam. fucking million a month from now to November is like six months. So that's like uh, it's a couple million. A couple million, this motherfucker just couple? Like that's like 250 to 300 mil. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's 10 figures, yeah. dog. Yeah. Crazy. That's crazy per crazy. month to yeah. just like, yo. You almost got shot, or you did get shot. You almost died. I, I felt like um, Elon was very quiet about his like political stance. He, he's we knew which way he was kind of leaning, but he wasn't open as much as he is now after this happening. Now fucking giving him forty five million dollars a fucking month, dog, for his campaign. That is nuts. Bro. Well, when you're, fucking million, when you're worth, how, I don't even know how much two, he's when worth. You're worth like 250 billion. What's 300 million? <laughs> Couple of dollars, bro. You know? But God damn, man. Let me it's get still an insane amount of money. Let me get, Shout out to Elon for doing that. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, so it just, it just kind of explains a little bit of like which fucking, you know, stance people were taking after this kind of happened. People are now more with Trump, maybe because of, you know, they see that there's a bunch of bullshit behind it. And it's fucked up that they're trying to do this to this guy. So people are like, you know, that's a rally behind this motherfucker that is like one of us. It. You know what I mean? I love it. Good for him. You know, he came out on top. I know He's you a love warrior. it. He was, uh, I saw Dana White on uh, Pat McAfee show. And uh, the next day, and he was like, I called Trump after. He was already at home from the hospital. He was in good spirits. Um, oh, getting like, laid with bro. fucking his fucking hot ass wife. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> we back, baby. <laughs> Woo. But uh, yeah, so we'll see. Um, also, before we go on to the, the next thing, I also saw that he was uh, the Supreme Court waived uh, not the uh, most recent indictments that he went to court for, but the one uh, about a year or so ago yeah. uh, with the Palm Beach, his West Palm Beach home at right. Mar a Largo. Right. Um, all that, he got acquitted of that. Yeah, they pulled the judge, right? Yep. They said he wasn't... Um... So, he's winning. I mean, obviously, you know, prayers out to him and his family. Like, that shit's scary. That's no joke. I know, like, all the memes and stuff. But, hey, our boy 50 Cent, his uh, many, many men, men just went, like, triple many, platinum many, over, many, many men. over again. And, 50 uh, Cent's many men up 250%. <laughs> In streams following Donald Trump assassination attempt. Wow. And I, I mean, if you guys know the lyrics, you guys know why. Many men wish death upon me. You know, Crazy. so it's like it went fucking viral. As soon as I heard that shit or we were watching it happen, I was like, bro. This Everyone the, was doing the album it was covers a, yeah, it was Trump's a, it face. Was a, it was a perfect 50 Cent like fucking plug in. I love and, it. And uh, yeah, man. So 50 Cent has been fucking taking a W from this shit as well. You know, good for him. Shout out to 50 Cent. But yeah, man, Poppy Trump, that's fucked up. That's crazy. Who we got next? So we'll see what's going to happen after that. And then, uh, yeah, man, back into sports, bro. We got a lot of shit going on with uh, Copa America, with Bronny James, Le Sperm. Le Sperm. Uh, LeBron Le Sperm. And Le Sperm. So what do you think about this whole fucking LeBron James and Le Sperm uh, situation? <laughs> I hate to call him Le Sperm, Le Sperm. but it's Bronny the funniest James. thing I've seen on the internet. Uh, it is. It is. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were talking about it a little bit. I mean... Obviously, he he's so wait, wait, getting. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so, do you think it's his fault that being in the position he's in, he gets this opportunity and it's and it's kind of handed to him? Fuck no, no, right? How is it his fault? He was yeah. born. It's not his fault. Amen. He was born Amen. into the family. Like, Amen. yeah, obviously he's a, a decent player. I think eventually he'll be. He Better. won't be his dad. Obviously, like that's hard to live up oh, to. You're fucking I think alien. he'll be a good, yeah, <laughs> he'll be a good role player. Um, but yeah, it, is he on the Lakers? Is he in the NBA and got drafted? And is he getting all this notoriety and and press uh, and all that because his dad is LeBron? Of course, he thousand is. percent. But you can't be mad at him for no. it, right? No, fuck not no. at all. I give him props, man. If anything, he's working hard to live up to the fucking hype. And that's the other thing. I think that he takes it to heart. Like, yo, I got to like, 
I don't have to be my dad, but I have to live up to our name right. and keep that legacy. And so it's not like he's just half-assing it. Like they pulled him off the street and said, hey, here's a contract with the Lakers. Like right. he puts in the work. He's been working. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. But it was uh, we saw on Barstool. So Jalen Brown, who's on the Boston Celtics, they just won the NBA championship. Um, he was on the sidelines because the Celtics played the Lakers mm -hmm. like two days ago. And you could see on the video when you read his lips. Who's? Jalen Brown, oh, okay. the player on the Celtics. Yeah. He was saying, I don't think Bronny is a pro. Wow. Like that he shouldn't be in there, the NBA. Yeah. And then I don't know the girl's name, but he was sitting with uh, two other girls. I think they're in the WNBA. And one of them, you read her lips. And she said, you know, I'm quoting this, but he'll go to the G League for sure. And if you look it up on Barstool, you'll see it. So it's like, and then he, Jalen Brown came out with a tweet saying, oh, it's so dope. Like, congrats to Bronny. Like, can't wait to see what he does in this league. So I don't know. What do you think about that? I wish motherfucker would fucking suit up and go against him and see if he get, doesn't get dunked on, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. I give I mean, shout out to Bronny, bro. He's working his fucking ass off. I'm not saying he's the fucking number one draft pick, but, you know, your dad's a fucking legend. Of course, you're gonna get opportunities that other people don't. Is that your fucking fault? Fuck no, Hell man. No. That's your, that's your legacy. It's like, it, man, I'm sorry, your dad fucking working at McDonald's and not fucking doing shit. My dad's the fucking goat of the NBA. Am I gonna get a shot? Maybe. Is that my fault? Fuck no. And I'm still here working hard and like hustling and trying to make shit happen. And he's fucking killed it in mm -hmm. high school. Even now, like on these fucking summer leagues and stuff, he's done. You know, pretty decent, and he's still gonna be fucking growing. You know what I mean? Like, you can't knock this kid, man. No, just celebrate him and give him fucking props, man. He's a kid. Hell yeah. Yeah. Fuck, just straight out of high I school. Agree. Imagine. I agree. Straight out of high school, bro. Fucking trying to live up to LeBron James or Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan shoes. Like, come on, man. Let the kid play. Yeah. Let the kid play. It's crazy, but good for him. I'm excited to see what he'll do. Yeah. Congrats man. to him. It'll be fucking dope, bro. Um, on another note, on that same topic-ish, before we get into the other stuff, the USA men's basketball baby, Olympic time in Olympics. Paris. Yeah, dude. So it's going to start boy, in like a month. <laughs> our boy, the claw, fucking dropped out. He said, this ain't ain't for me. And uh, Yeah, that was a whole controversy the, he, in and of itself. Tell me about that. Um, so to make a long story short, he's been injured for the past Who? like five years. The claw, Kawhi Leonard, on the Clippers. Uh, he was injured towards the latter part of the season uh, this year, and then they got sent home by the Dallas Mavericks. Shout out Luca, shout out Kyrie, <laughs> and now Clay. Shout out Clay, and uh, and then yeah, they replaced him, um, and he dropped out. He shouldn't have even been there in the first place. Nah, Not he because he doesn't have the talent, obviously, but it's because you were injured. Your team needs you in the regular season. I get it. You want to go represent your country. I respect that. But at the same time, it's like, bro. It was show. On. It was all show. Come on. Show. So it was kind of like a switch and bait. Like, hey, he's he's on the USA team. And then two weeks later, they're like, ah, uh, after other considerations. When they knew all along he wasn't going to. So be. I don't know. But, I mean, the, the team is stacked, bro. You got Steph Curry. LeBron, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, Anthony Edwards, Devin Booker. Who's your favorite right now on the USA team? Oof. Anthony Edwards. I love Anthony oh, Edwards. Oh, dude, though. Michael Jordan, dude. Or Steph. Steph is, <laughs> Steph is the three-point god, bro. cool, but he ain't the hype on the fucking USA team, bro. I don't know. He's not. I think nah. LeBron being up there, Anthony Edwards for sure. And He's on the come up. He's on the come up. We'll know, see. Hopefully only... they go fucking undefeated. They win the gold for USA. And uh, yeah, I mean, Team USA overall has 16 gold medals over the years. So this as they're going for their to, 17th. As opposed other teams only have like fucking four or three? Yeah, I think. Who's the runner up? Like Spain or fucking? I don't know. I can look that up. Yeah, but I, up too. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, speaking on the fucking whole world games and everything like that. What about the uh, Copa America final <laughs> here in fucking Miami? So a bunch of my friends were asking me, hey, dog, you're going to make it to the game at the Hard Rock? Oh, They're I playing wish. there. It's going to be so lit. Oh, it's going to be wish. Argentina, Colombia. Argentina, Colombia in Miami. Yeah. That's so nuts. We knew it was going to be lit, but 
<laughs> think it's wow. this lit. God Whew. damn. Tell us. These motherfuckers brought the house down, man. So, yeah, the game was uh, here in Miami, Florida at the Hard Rock Stadium. Uh, pretty fucking nice stadium. Pretty dope. And um, I don't want to say they rioted, but they, they fucked it they up. They broke through <laughs> fucking entrances and whatnot to get into the game. And at some point, uh, the cops there had to just let people kind of go in. So they'd avoid like a stampede. So they just started letting random people fucking run into the stadium. So there's people there without tickets, just sitting in random people's seats and yeah. um, watching the game. I mean, fuck. I, I'm not saying I don't blame them. I do blame them because that's, you don't fucking do that shit. Act a little adultish. But tickets were for like a nosebleed were like 1500 bucks, bro. <laughs> So, That's crazy. You know, no one ain't paying that shit, bro. No one, <laughs> no one paying fifteen hundred dollars for a nosebleed, dog. Especially here in Miami. I love my Latinos, Hispanos, but man, these motherfuckers ain't paying no fifteen hundred dollars for a nosebleed. No, nah, they were yeah, they were hopping the fences. They were climbing through little cubby holes to get into the game, bro. They're breaking in through fucking like air ducts and ventilators in the roof. That's some real Literally shit. Literally breaking the roof and going through fucking like ventilators and shit to shout out to. Roof. Everyone who did that, I don't condone I, it, but I, that shit is tight. I don't know about shot. That shit it was kind of embarrassing, bro. Being a Latino, I'm not gonna lie, bro. It was a little embarrassing. Like, come on, man. We 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 know how to behave better, conduct ourselves better than that. Like, you gotta be doing all that shit, especially with the World Cup around the corner. We're gonna have Ooh. the World Cup here in fucking Florida. You know, uh, California, a couple different stadiums throughout the U.S. Like, we gotta like show them that we're able to conduct ourselves and able to hold this type of fucking crowd man let's not make ourselves look bad it's kind of embarrassing i'm yeah, not gonna bro. lie and they know? they totally jacked up the uh one of the suites like the escalator the glass was broken trash everywhere like bro no, i saw pictures of the that shit was, was crazy yeah, the stadium was fucked man that's so, insane uh, i hope they don't keep that same energy for the world cup because come on guys we deserve this shit we've been fucking when's the last time we had a world cup here i don't know since the fucking 80s or 90s when we had it Back in L.A. and shit like that. Um, come on, man. Let's not fuck it up. But, yeah, man. It was fucking nuts. It was nuts. Um, I feel bad for the people that paid 1500 and didn't even get a fucking seat because there was people breaking into the stadium and stealing their seats. So, yeah, dog. Fuck it. Yeah, man. So, on another episode of Hump Day, we had our, our girl Ingrid with the fucking Star Spangled Banner being fucking better. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah Take your ass to rehab Woo! See you later Poppy Trump I hope you heal up quick That shit with the ear Ooh. We'll see what happens And what they determined Ooh. You know If it was fucking uh, Inside job or not um, Elon Musk You're gonna get a lot of hate For this shit But keep on donating Your 45 million a month <laughs> A month dog 45 A million. month That's crazy. A month Wow. Bronny James, shout out to you, son. Keep on doing your fucking thing. Let's sperm. Let's sperm. And uh, yeah, dude. So we'll see what happens with the World Cup because I know we're going to have some places here in uh, Florida where that shit takes place. It's going to be dope, bro. World yeah. Cup should be sick. I'm excited to fucking see that take place, bro. But um, let's wrap it up with some questions. We got some people questions. You up or what? Yeah, Same. we got some right, questions well, from last week. You, you, you want to start with the first one? Or? All right. Whatever, bro. Throw it. Throw it. Right. It. What's up? If you could be a girl for the day, Bad what's guess. the first thing you'd do? If I could be a girl for a day, what's a fr after getting ready and like being dolled up and looking good? That's the first thing that you would do is get ready. I mean, fuck yeah, bro! You want to look good, baby? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that! I'm okay. Touching my titties, baby. Oh, what's up, baby? I'm jiggling that shit. Yeah. I'm doing jumping uh. jacks. This guy says he's going to be playing with himself. Come on now. Like, what? Okay, get oh. ready and then what? Well, I've never, Go I've out never, to the clear. I've never felt one of these before. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, So bro. this is what it feels like. What's the first fucking thing you'd do if I were a girl, bro? That's the first thing I would do. <sighs> Touch some titties. I don't know, man. I'd probably go try to meet a fucking soccer player somewhere. Or <laughs> you know? You'd go on a yacht or what? <laughs> easy, bro, Easy. That's the first thing Dressing you get in fucking skimpy. Yeah, fuck yeah. Damn. No, I, I try to yeah. I try to meet a soccer player. You know? Some okay. Bitch -ass motherfucker. Just in one day? Yeah. One, if I look good, <laughs> baby, that only takes fucking an hour. You know what I'm saying? 
Let's Let's pull go. up to the right spot and fucking. Oh shit! What's up? Okay, all right, you got it like that. Nah, Let's fuck see. That. All right, um, we got two more. Second question: What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened during sex? All right, I'll let you answer that. <laughs> shit. The most embarrassing thing that's happened during sex. Most embarrassing thing that's happened during sex. Um, Yikes. I don't know. Maybe <gasps> fucking getting off too quick. No, bro. That happens to everybody. Come on, man. She Get falls off better. the bed and hits her head no, on the nightstand. No. That's kind on, of embarrassing. No. Some, some of you have to know that's worse. You're, you're, you're getting off and your little toot comes out. I don't know. You you pooped? No, not actual shit. Like a you fart. Pooped, huh? Nah, <laughs> this guy's for sure. Hell yeah. What? There we go. This guy. There we go. No. This guy was for sure this trying to get laid. <laughs> fucking pooped on the bed or something. Yeah. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> no way. He shot. He I, t- I mean, I think he's I think I've been like <laughs> oh, <laughs> trying to squeeze his ass cheeks. Yeah. The motherfucker shot the bed for show. Uh, That's funny. Dude. I don't know. What about you? Nah, man, I don't know, man. Come on. I've had too much fun. I, Come on. Oh, too question. much fun. Next question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question. Uh, last question, and then we'll wrap this thing. <sighs> What's your biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve, bro. That's hard. Yeah. My biggest. What am I? In biggest? general. Women, I men. In, I think in just, general, it's just yeah. impolite people. You know what I mean? People that don't have fucking manners and don't know how to. Say thank you and please and shit like that. That's my biggest pet peeve because, like, that shows your humbleness and, like, your your true character and who you are. So I, I, if you can't have, you know, fucking manners and be polite and shit like that, that's probably, like, off the bat my biggest pet peeve. So if I, I date a girl and she don't say fucking thank you when the fucking waiter brought us silverware or whatever, you gone, baby girl. You gone. I feel that. I feel that. I'd, yeah, I mean, same. Yeah, um, dude, the same dude. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest pet peeve, I think, would be that's a broad question. Um, when I see guys walking with a lady, whether it's their mom, their sister, a girl they're dating, it doesn't matter who it is, and they're walking on the street, and the girl's on the outside and the guy's on the inside. Yeah, yeah, that's it's like a, a that's, chivalry. That's a gimme. Chivalry. It's not gimme though. You see it all the time. And that's why it's a pet peeve. I'm like, bro, all you got to do is like, I physically, when I walk with girls, no matter who it is, you could ask them. I've straight up grabbed no them and yeah. move them to the inside. I'll do the same thing. And it's just like a sign of respect. Like, hey, if a car comes, they're going to hit me first. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm going to get my leg chopped <laughs> off first. I got you, baby. Um, but, but yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Pet peeve. Well, Fucking making sure they walk in the middle. But yeah, doggy. It was fun. Fuck. Another one in the books for y'all. Appreciate you. Okay. Um, yeah. Like you, guys, say, you guys gotta know we do this shit at fucking 10 p.m. our time too. So yeah, it's what, stay what up with us. It? Almost 10:45. 10 10:45 Eastern. Eastern. You guys are still Woo. three hours behind us. So um, we appreciate you guys' support. You guys being on these chats. If you guys have any fucking topics or questions or stupid shit that you want us to talk about, let us know. Drop a comment. You guys better be subscribing on this fucking YouTube, or if not, I hate you guys. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, Share all the bullshit. Anything, like we always say, but uh, we got some we got some shit coming. Go check out our oh, IG shit. and we TikToks do have some shit and stuff coming, huh? for our, our news. Kind of pivot to, to some of the skits. We're super excited about that. We're having fun with it, so... I uh, hope you guys are too. And then, uh, yeah, we got a bigger when announcement. Are we, when are we dropping this announcement, bro? Uh, we're dropping it. We kind of already teased it last week, but uh, we'll we'll come out with the big, the big the big boys. Pictures, yeah. Um, we're getting some stuff together for that. So super excited. We're gonna drop some stuff. It's gonna be dope. It's lit. It's a motherfucking new merch. So you guys better fucking support. You guys will see what's up. And uh, we'll catch you guys soon. But before we get out of here, we got one last comment. Said Ivan's for the streets. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Who, is that? Who said that? Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Twenty-five eight. We out. Woo.